Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, how you can create uh, like a certification program uh, within App Inventor 2, at least how you can uh, manage with one single screen an unlimited question quiz. Um, I'm not going to talk about uh, the answers part, just with the questions uh, part. Um, so the technique I'm using here is by using uh, a spreadsheet, which is uh, hosted on Google Drive, uh, which is very handy if you want to add some questions and answers as well. Um, so as you can see here, my file is composed of close to 1,000 questions with all the answers associated. Um, as I said, I'm not going to uh, tackle the good answer part because I didn't plan to talk about it within this tutorial but I'm going to explain you how you can in fact uh, grab all those different questions and answer and make like a massive quiz. So uh, for this you need at least one label in order to display the question and then to have at least in my case uh, four different buttons in order to uh, select the answer that you want and then the web component. Web component is as I said uh, showing um, uh, Google Spreadsheets, the only thing that you need to uh, take into consideration is that you need to add at the end of your URL slash export question mark format equals CSV. Regarding the coding part, uh, this is how it looks like. So when um, when the app starts, uh, when the screen opens up, it's going to go and execute uh, the HTTP request in order to grab the CSV file, okay, in order to download it. When it downloads uh, the, the CSV file, what's going to happen is that it gets the answer and it's then converting this given uh, CSV table, I mean this given file, as, uh, as a list that it's going to put within a variable name, in my case table, which is an empty list. So it's going to take all this content, make it as a list. Then uh, we want to get rid of uh, the headline because they may uh, Confuse the program, so uh, you want to remove this line. This is what this given part is doing: is like taking out the list and then removing index number one. Then what you want is that you want to create uh, one list per column in order to be able to manage those columns afterwards. This is what this part is doing. So it's for uh, each cells which are within uh, the first, let's say, column. Uh, it's gonna so take it and then uh, create a list in itself and uh, then um, it's gonna just uh, pick up the, the first column. This is this what it, this code is saying. Same thing for this one, same thing for this one, same thing for this one, same thing for this one. We've on each time different variable which correspond to each list. So to say we are creating a list for this part, we are creating a list for this part and so on and so forth. This is what we are doing. And then uh, the last part, which is over here, which is that I call call setting label, is nothing more than a shortcut to all those uh, code, which are in fact setting uh, the question label to uh, the value, which corresponds to the list with an index, which is by default uh, set to one. So in fact, what those codes are doing is like it's setting this part okay and the idea of course is then once the button is clicked to go to this part then to go to this part and so on and so forth and this is uh, what we have over here so when there is a click on any button it's gonna take the index add it plus one and then once more call this given procedure in order to uh, get the question the answer and so on and so forth okay uh, so let's uh, go to the demo part. So uh, I don't know if you can see over here. I'm just gonna uh, double check. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah. So as you can see, every time now that I'm pushing one of those buttons, it's gonna go to the next question and so on and so forth up to number uh, nine hundred. Okay. And that's it. So this is how you can, in fact, uh, design a full quiz. Uh, with unlimited questions that you can update on and on with Up Inventor do just by managing list. Hope that helps.